Syrian civil war since 2011. The authority of President Bashar Assad and his government was challenged like never before when pro-democracy protests swept the country in March 2011. The Assad regime, which had been ruling since Assad's father, Hafiz, became president in 1971, faced protests calling for an end to its dictatorship. The Syrian government responded with force, using police, military and paramilitary forces to crush the protests. In 2011, armed groups opposed to the regime emerged and by 2012, the country was in a civil war. Syrian society was highly repressive and had glaring wealth and privilege disparities before. The uprising began. An environmental crisis also contributed to the Syrian uprising. From 2006 to 2010, Syria faced the worst drought in its recent history. A lot of farming families lost their income and left the countryside for urban shanty towns. DAR, a drought-stricken rural province in southern Syria that was impoverished, witnessed the first major protests in March 2011. The protests became stronger and larger and the regime reacted with heavier force. Sometimes this meant isolating cities such as BMIYS or HOMs with tanks, artillery and attack, helicopters and cutting off electricity and communication. By the summer of 2011, the neighbors and the global powers of Syria began to split into camps that were for or against Assad, the United States, the EU and the Arab League soon applied sanctions on the senior members of the Assad regime. Syria's longtime allies, Iran and Russia, did not stop supporting it. Several times, Russia and China vetoed a security council resolution that would HAV denounced Assad's brutality. The UN and the Arab League brokered a second agreement, which resulted in a short partial ceasefire in April 2012. But the violence continued and escalated more than before, and the UN team of monitors had to pull out for security reasons. After having no success in making peace between the combatants themselves, a conference in June 2012 produced the Geneva Communique to establish a transitional governing body for Syria. The United States and Russia disagreed on, including Assad, or not in a future Syrian regime. Rebels assaulted Aleppo, the biggest city in Syria, in July and gained control of the city's east. However, by early 2013, the military conflict seemed to be heading towards a deadlock. Rebels maintained a strong grip on the north as well. The chances of international military intervention in Syria were diminishing. Diplomacy became the main focus, leading to a deal between Russia, Syria, and the United States to put all of Syria's chemical weapons out of Syria by June 30, 2014, ANS was implemented. The leader of al-Qaeda, Abu Bakr Baghdadi, said in April 2013 that he would join his forces in Iraq and Syria under the name of the Islamic State in Iraq and the Levant ISIL, also known as the Islamic State in Iraq and Syria ISIS. ISIL, a militant group, took over a region in the east of Syria, along the Euphrates River, with al Raqqa as its main base, and ISIL carried out many attacks in Syria and Iraq and occupied a large area of land on both sides of the border between the two countries. ISIL quickly took over large parts of Iraq and spread fear and hatred through their media. On August 8, the as reacted by bombing ISIL targets in Iraq and expanded the airstrikes in Syria. In September, Russia started sending soldiers and weapons to an 
air base close to Latakia in the summer of 2015. In September, Russia began bombing places in Syria though it was attacking ISIL, but it was hitting groups that opposed Assad as well. In September 2016, a brief truce broke down the regime, and Russia then concentrated on attacking the Aleppo, where the rebels were based, and did not stop until they defeated the rebels in December 2016. By 2020, the Syrian government had gained control of over two-thirds of the country and was strengthening its power. The main fighting between the Assad regime and the opposition groups had largely stopped by 2023, but there were still occasional clashes in northwestern Syria. The war has claimed about 600,000 lives, making it the second most lethal conflict of the 21st century, after the Second Congo War which claimed over 600,000 lives. In October 2019, Kurdish leaders of Rahava, a region within Syria, announced they had reached a deal with the government of Syria. This deal was enacted in the wake of the AS withdrawal from Syria. The Kurdish sought to obtain Syria's help in stopping Turkish forces attacking Kurds inside Syria. Status today 2024. The civil war has largely subsided. The war has settled into a stalemate. Hopes for regime change have largely died out. Some regional governments are reconsidering to engage with Syrian regime. Bashar has regained power and secured control over most of the Syria.